name is Dr. Jackie Kreutzer. I'm the director of the Cath Lab at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. Recently this year, the first valve to be implanted through a catheter for using humans was approved. And this was approved specially for patients who were born with heart defects and had prior heart surgeries, who are facing the need for multiple other operations to, re to replace uh, dysfunctional conduits. This valve is to be implanted through a catheter and therefore avoiding open heart surgery. And it's really a major accomplishment in technology. A very innovative technology that truly allows patients to avoid an operation, delay the need for surgery for several years. We are also very um, happy to have been the first institution outside of the trial, outside of the investigational period, to be implanting the valve successfully. The first implantation um, that took place yesterday at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh was on a 24-year-old who was born with congenital heart disease. After having had several surgeries, he ended up uh, with a conduit. He had a conduit between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery, which had become too narrow, and also the valve in the conduit was not working well. Clearly, he would meet criteria to have to have another operation to change that conduit. He came to the cath lab and we demonstrated that he was a good candidate to receive the melody. We did several measurements and had to place a stent inside the conduit and then deliver the valve inside the stent. The valve was working beautifully at the end of the procedure and the same this morning as confirmed by the ultrasound of the heart. He went home feeling very well without any complications on the following morning. Okay, um, my name is Diane Dunn. My son is Brennan Ehrman, and he's been to um, Children's a number of times because he has a heart valve problem. Um, Brennan had open heart surgery at the end of when he was six and when he was nine and when he was 20. He, uh, we came on Monday to see Dr. Kreitch and she showed us the stent and then she showed us the, the melody valve and I looked at this little thing and I thought this is going to change his life. He's the first to have it done, which he's very proud of. and. Um, I think we thought that it's just amazing what the medical field is doing and how they're progressing and that children uh, you know, took the initiative to have this available uh, for children. This would be wonderful for many young adults and adults who have congenital heart conditions. This is like the breakthrough that they needed. Uh, so we're just really thrilled that his name came up and we really are very thankful to Children's Hospital.